Hello guys and welcome to Freebird Screw. So in our past video, I will tell you about the how decision trees split for the classification and for the regression problems. So in this video, I will tell you about a project based on the decision tree classification. Okay, so let's start the project. So before starting the project, we have some key parameters of the uh, tree based mo mo models to consider so that our decision tree will not get overfit because the main disadvantage of decision tree is that it will overfit if you do not take care of its constraints okay okay so first of all uh decision tree has some kind of a parameters as well they are called like minimum samples required and maximum features to take for each decision tree maximum the depth of the uh decision tree as well so these are ki kind of uh, uh, constraints you need to be taken care of so that your decision tree will not get overfit okay and there is also another technique that you can use that is called tree pruning so tree pruning is a kind of a setting constraint that takes more choices and choose very wisely and it cut down the tree after a certain depth so that your decision tree will not get overfit okay okay so let's start with the project so here we uh uh, load all our like uh, main libraries we need pandas reason tree model test to split in matrices okay and we have a, a diabetes data set we have which has all the like uh, independent columns like preg pregnancies glucose blood pressure insulin bmi and age along with the target variable that is called if a person has diabetes or not okay okay so first of all we take the independent features into the x we take the target feature into the y as this data set is already cleaned so we don't need to do the uh, feature engineering or feature selection kind of stuff okay we just simply get the vari uh, vari variables build the test twin split and fit in the model okay and then i just uh, do the test twin split here with the test size of uh, 0 0.3 that is 30% test size and 70% training data and then I fit my model with the help of decision tree classification okay so here here you see I don't set any kind of constraints here I don't set max depth I don't don't set the maximum number of trees anything like kind of that so it will it it will make my tree to go overfit if my data got too complex okay so in that way and still i got accuracy of 70 percent here okay okay so what if you do some kind of a uh, visualization of your tree so based on this uh this is decision tree this is that uh, decision tree that it looks like you see it goes in more depth it has so many kind of conditions are here it is like too complex kind of decision trees here okay okay so what if you you choose like some kind of a uh criteria you choose the criteria entropy and set the maximum depth to three now here i choose the constraints okay so by choosing these constraints you are making your decision tree not go in so much depth that is not required okay when i train a model now i get a 77 percent accuracy so there is a seven percent increase okay and my graph will also be not complex it is very easy to understand now okay okay so I, I hope you guys completely understand that how to build a decision tree model with constraints because decision tree has only one disadvantages it will overfit if you don't set the constraints okay if you set the constraints it will work like wonders okay okay oh, guys so in our next video i will tell you about the logistic regression so logistic regression is the very useful algorithm in machine learning on the base of classification task okay so just be with it and we will meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much